And look what we just got. Oh, yes. So we have a preview private screen, a Disney private screen, and we were told that in the event that if a celebrity or someone famous happens to walk through, uh, no pictures, no autographs, no nothing, so. It is August 8th, 2024. It's about 710, 715 in the morning. It's like 64 degrees. A little bit cooler this morning. And we are on our way. We go into 8:30 to 4 today. Uh, we had a special preview and part of Disney and stuff like that. Um, I, was, I was told ahead of time by one of my managers. Uh, I'm not saying anything. But just in case if a celebrity happens to come through um, or something like that, someone famous, don't take any pictures, uh, <laughs> don't ask for any autographs. Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. They were planning, I think, uh, earlier uh, that day, yesterday, a route for so called celebrity, mysterious person. To come in through a back way so they're not seeing and stuff like that. Whatever. It's a big deal. <clears throat> so then I guess during one of the cleans, one of my friends is like, uh, hey, you so and so but I couldn't hear him. I'm I'm really starting to get more and more hard of hearing. I, I notice that a lot. <clears throat> I'm on getting the eyes checked and everything else. I gotta get that that done and stuff like that. Oy, hey, ugh. The troubles of getting old. Ugh. No, but uh, and, and then uh, yeah, he told me who it was, and I'm like, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. I was on my way out, walking out. Like, okay. I think starting with a J or so. I, I don't know, but I'll find out when I go in. So we'll see.
Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Friday morning still. August 9th, 2024. It's like 1150. It's our day off. Actually, I had things pretty confused. What I thought was the look ahead was not going to be three days in a row tomorrow, but midweek. Which is fine. I'd rather work the weekend anyway. We're off today, and we go back Monday, or uh, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday. Then we're off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Eesh. We're here in Los Angeles. It's like 84 degrees, I think. It's not so bad. There's a slight breeze. Ah, uh, this is what they replaced it with. This used to be not a Starbucks, but um, I think a Pete's. And they put a they put a Taco Bell cantina. One of my friends went to the one in Hollywood, and he ordered a, a, a drink there. And he said, uh, it's like, basically, it's like going to, uh, the, the experience is more definitely like just having a beer or your own cocktail at a McDonald's or a fast food restaurant. He said it wasn't, it's really not worth the money. It, basically, if curiosity strikes you, then you didn't go ahead and do it. But other than that, it's not really anything special. It's like they got the... Uh, Take out or take out or pick up here. <laughs> Street Chalupas. They got a uh, beer on tap. Basic cocktails. It's nothing really anything spectacular. And yeah, definitely if curiosity strikes you, then try it. This is the block right here. The metro goes down there. I think you can come up through. Yeah, you can. If you go to opposite of the direction that we came in. Or up from. Oh, God. It's <laughs> got like a little bit of a hamster maze. But they did redo this. The block part of the outdoor sign that we just saw. Uh, that's relatively new. I think within a year. They did move some things around. I haven't been here in a while. And a new, some new shops have come in. It does look overall better. I don't know. Just gotta look. I think I did a few videos. Seventh and Fig are at the block. It's so hard to remember because I don't have those downloaded on any hard drive yeah this this is extended more this has been extended more oh wow this has really been wow yeah it has wow hey this is both for both of us and you 2000 plus That's cool. So it ends up on the other side of the street. We've got a nice gym. We got a GNC over here. And that goes to the other side. Elevator straight down to the bottom. Kind of an interesting entrance for Macy's in between the uh, elevators. It is nice and cool in here. Yeah, this looks really cool. Yeah, they did a really good job here. And there's the lower, lower. And then from here, I believe you can go down to the uh, subway. Or the train station. Or whatever the heck you call it. <clears throat> train station out here. Subway out east, right? I don't know. 
It's all relative, right? And they got, uh, ooh, bouncy. It's some nice bouncy. Oh yeah, this is kind of, this is really springy. Ooh, new signage. Yeah, this whole area up here looks nice. Joey, downtown LA. It's some sort of like upscale eatery. Okay, now that upscale is relative. I think, um, honestly, that if you definitely, if you've never been, and you're from the East Coast, New York, <clears throat> and you're kind of worried that if you come out here to California and Los Angeles, uh, if you're gonna have to bring extra money, well, you know, that's, I would honestly say that your folks' cost of living and overall means of entertainment, nightlife, food, drinking, parking if you happen to own a vehicle <clears throat> but first and foremost if your rent is significantly higher than the average out here in Los Angeles then I would honestly have to say hell yeah you folks can definitely afford but do your math figure out the average cost don't just take my word for it but from some of the youtubers that I follow uh, Jordan Cash I believe is uh, the one that I've been following for the last few and um, yeah you guys oh, bless your little budgeting hearts so this is the block that's parking arrows <laughs> city got hieroglyphics you know what? I think the steps that we took or that we were looking at yeah this big thing maybe a year old plus just a little over a cat tree Ooh, it's bright out here. Ooh, that's some crazy height to go get graffiti. Not over there. Over there. Still not quite as high as way up there. Well, if you're curious. There you go. Now these apartments apartments or apartment homes whatever they consist of uh, this one's kind of cool because on the corner on the far corner over there it's got a rouse in there I don't know if it still does but that particular rouse has a huge ass bar I mean you thought you were like honestly kind of like at a sports bar but yeah it's a huge kind of like a half round and you got the bar <laughs> it's got a bartender and well, you know, this is, this is, this is the whole end game and the whole core of everything. What the far left, the liberals, and the extreme Democrats—they want everybody to be basically in all the movies that we've seen in the future, all self-contained, one tiny little city, uh, have the population—I don't know, like 300 billion dense strong—and just inside all cities all self-contained there's no need to go outdoors and you know you keep that kind of process a little more successful and consecutive for 10 20 30 40 years 50 plus and going on and everyone gets accustomed to that then it won't be long before definitely we will live living socially politically and communally like logan's run 
across the street is the kind of like a little mini park, like a little New York City kind of park. So on this side of the street now, here is the Ralphs. It's nice. It's really it's stocked really nice. It's decent size. It's maybe a quarter of what this block is on the bottom. Ooh, look at this old beauty. The Trinity Auditorium building. I don't know exactly what it is, but it must have like a dome or something up there. The Stillwell Hotel. Hank's Delightful Dining and Drinking. Very uh, old timey indeed, right? Ooh. I like any building that still has a canopy over its entrance. Uh, if you look up there at the top of the Sheraton, it looks like they have one of those old uh, fashioned circular restaurants. I don't know if it's revolving or not, but. Okay, now we're on Wilshire and Grand. Ooh. I think we're headed west. <laughs> uh, towards the direction of the Bonaventure. Casey's Irish Pub. Uh, it looks interesting. I love that stonework. These buildings are just so detailed. Oh, the ascent. I'm not sure. I think this might be the public library. Wait a minute. No, no, I don't think it is. Wait. It might be. Go ahead. I don't trust drivers. This is the Biltmore. Ooh, for the monthly guests. Ooh. Fancy must be terrible living in luxury in downtown LA. Ooh. This is Grand and Fifth. And yes, that is the public library. And that is the first center state. I can't remember what the, oh, was it Security Pacific? Or Bank of America formerly? Uh, I can't remember, but yeah. Torrey Pines Bank. Look at that old building. That's what that is. I can never remember. It's a public library. I always like the kind of like I don't know star shape of this building. There she is. Still the most unique. goes all the way up there. You want to go check it out? Uh, okay, but we'll take the much easier way. Look how tiny these are.
So you got a little, little bit of a landing on each little platform. Love the water features. And then we are in another area where it's kind of like cut. They just follow the pattern of uh, the way Los Angeles early pioneers basically set the paths and everything that later turned into basically our highway system. All the way down there is fifth. There is the public library. It is quite quiet here actually. Other than the buzzing. And that is from the alarm system, the warning system for um, pedestrians to know that there is a car coming up from bottom parking. Other than that, it's relatively quiet. Nice breeze, sound of the water. Beautiful artwork. And this feeds the stream. There is uh, the music hall center over there. So I think the Department of Water and Power is just the building across the street from it to the left. Okay, we are Hope and Fourth. That way is Little Tokyo, towards the left a little is Union Station. And Crypto and Convention Center is down that way over there. So YMCA. And there's the beautiful Bonaventure. I don't think, yeah, this is not the place I want to go to because after the wall disappears, then it's exposed, and I get a really bad panic attack. I'm serious, it really fucks me up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go back down the other way. It's nicer here anyway. You know, unless I'm mistaken, I, I think that a lot of the still of, of the older buildings, and some probably that have like the deeper basements that probably their own bomb shelters, there are a few, not so many, but there are a few, <clears throat> which is ridiculous because this is one of the pinpoint areas that <sighs> it's just kind of ridiculous. But I think a lot of these buildings still have the old either diesel or gasoline, probably diesel in, uh, generators. So, and those get replaced, I'm sure, as time goes on. Uh, LA is definitely not a place that I would like to be in. Uh, oof. I saw a lot of the videos for from the riots and the lockdown and stuff. And I was here. Tried to, but yeah, no, it's it, it was just too too ugly. There she is. Wow. The elevator's like the best. That's why it was like one of my favorites when I was a kid. You know, I just never had a problem with heights when I was a kid, really. Basically, the Bunker Hill area. The other train station is up. Oh, yeah, it's up there that way. Just just over by the building, in between the Bank of America and this building, and a little uh, pop-up island type of thing. So, 
Yeah, this is basically Bunker Hill. That area has changed so much since I was a little kid. But the Bonaventure still stays there. So this is the grand entrance of the main branch of the Public Library downtown LA. It's really cute. Cool inside, but, oh, excuse me. And it's huge. It is freaking huge. This whole area right here, oh, the whole property was just basically encased with homeless people during the, during the lockdown. Oh, it was, I mean, it was, it was just heartbreaking, honestly. Just see so many people just, I don't know, all huddled together. Oh, this twin tower look at thing. This is City National Building. This has been here since I was a little kid. And I always loved that water fountain. And it's been in a lot of movies. It has been in a lot of uh, police movies, a lot of weekly uh, dramas. <clears throat> And always like the scene of uh, some sort of like suspect chase and something like that or a, or a car chase or something. But that's always been in a lot of movies and <laughs> moreover in a lot of uh, TV shows. The California Club. I don't know what. Ooh, it's residents. Whoa. You know, I don't know why I never noticed it. I mean, I've seen the building, don't get me wrong, but I never paid any attention. Whoa. I bet you this is like really old-fashioned, spacious opulence, like a den or a sitting room. Wow. I will have to try to look that up. Basically, you did one big loop. This is Wilshire and Flower. Yes, Wilshire, or Wilshire, but if you keep going that direction, you will get to the La Brea Tar Pits and the museums and eventually hit the edge of the world and fall off. Uh oh. oh. All right, I think that is about it. I will wrap it up. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pets and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing or doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on, and it smells like vinegar crotch right here. Holy crap. Oof. <coughs> Oof. Like, subscribe, comment, good or bad. Please post it find email again. And, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, early tomorrow, definitely early tomorrow. I think I think eight o'clock tomorrow. Shit, I gotta go into eight. Eight to three. Um I won't be able to post until afterwards. I'll try to put this together tonight. Bye-bye.